Oh yeah, Brother R.A. on at 1 o'clock and 9 seconds. Yes, that's right, CCTV, Cambridge Community Television, a place I've been on there since 1992, 93. Oh, who is that? That's me, Brother R.A. Here, welcome into my enclave. <laughs> Yes, I hope I can make it through the show. Uh, I have a sore throat. And uh, I've been, um, yeah, yelling at the football games. I think that's what may have started it. Maybe not. I don't know. But, hmm, I don't trust Western man medicine anyhow. But be that as it may, Master Heath Robinson of the Roxbury Tai Chi Academy said gargle with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and apple cider vinegar. So I did that at 11 o'clock. And uh, yeah, I was feeling much worse back then. But... Can Brother R.A. with all I get to say and all I'm thinking share all my voice? <laughs> Can I share these thoughts? OMG. So I showed you my enclave and hmm. I just want to show you something real quick. Can y'all see that? Handwriting, penmanship, printing. Ooh, an R.A. journal. <laughs> Are you in my journal? Hmm. I never know what I'm going to say when I'm on air. But, uh, yeah, I'm always spontaneous and boom, right at you. But, yeah, take a look-see. These are the DVDs. I was uh, watching the past week. And this one here, The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. After discussing what I discussed from last week's show, um, what was that? There was in the South Pole living down that way, the name of the television series, Forgive me, the memory is going. I can't keep all the thoughts in my head. But, um, yeah, The Immortal Life of Henrietta, and that's Oprah in this. And, uh, Denial. Hmm. And then the split personality. And then Money Monsters. Oh, I gotta show this one. No Peace, No Peace. OMG. That was harsh. This movie talked about the number of people in Iraq. More people died in Iraq than in Chicago. I mean, more people died in Chicago than in Iraq. So they call it Chirac. And the women said, all right, we're not going to give up no more coochie. No more nookie until there's peace. Deep movie, deep movie. But, um, yeah, this one here, I, I hope to come back to that. And this was another one. Can you all see that? Things never said... This was off the hook for me. And, uh, that was kind of silly, but it was all right. Mission Impossible. Can y'all even see that title? I may want to play some of this, maybe. We'll see how I feel. Where my head goes. But, let's go ahead and begin. With, I chose 
my chi opened up to beginning. This is page one in this particular book. This is the moment of embarking. An auspicious sign. All auspicious signs are in place. In the beginning, all things are hopeful. We prepare ourselves to start anew. Though we may be intent on the magnificent journey ahead, all things are contained in this first moment. Our optimism, our faith, our resolution, our innocence, in order to start, we must make a decision. This decision is a commitment to daily self-cultivation. We must make a strong connection to our inner selves. Outside matters are superfluous. Alone and naked, we negotiate all of life's trivia, travails. Therefore, we alone must make something of ourselves, transforming ourselves into instruments for experiencing the deepest spiritual essence of life. Once we make our decision, all things will come to us. Auspicious signs are not a superstition, but a confirmation. They are a response. It is said, that if one chooses to pray to a rock with enough devotion, even that rock will come alive. In the same way, once we choose to commit ourselves to spiritual practice, Even the mountains and the valleys will reverberate to the sound of our purpose. You just listened to the reading of Beginning from 365 Dial. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and read page two try to at least with this voice. Ab I'm not even sure if I can say that word. A-B-L-U-T-I-O-N. Ablution. Washing at dawn. Rinse away dreams, protect the gods within, clarify the inner spirit. Persif mm, my brain is really hurt. Purification starts all practice. First comes cleansing of the body. Not to deny the body, but also, I'm sorry, but so 
that it's that it is refined once cleansed it can help us sense the divine rinsing away dreams is a way of saying that we must not only dispel the illusions and anxieties of our sleeping moments but those of our waking ones as well. All life is a dream, not because it isn't there, but because we all protect different meanings upon it. Did I say that right? Let me read that again. This reading of the Tao is very prolific, and I'm sorry for this voice, but this takes me to a deeper sense of who I am as a melanin dominant black man that is tapping into my greater self. And I know I'm being attacked because of me tapping into the spirituality I am teaching and sharing knowledge about infinity and having those who are black or melanin dominant with a liquid fluid pineal gland. If we look into ourselves, we can see the infinity we are. So let me read this again. Absolution, washing at dawn, rinse away dreams, protect the gods within, and clarify the inner spirit. Purification starts all practice. First comes cleansing of the body, not to deny the body, but so that it is refined. Once cleansed, it can help us sense the divine. Rinsing away dreams is a way of saying that we must not only dispel, dispel the illusions and anxieties of our sleeping moments, but those of our waking ones as well. All life is a dream, not because it isn't there, but because we all project different meanings upon it. We must cleanse away this habit. While cleansing, we naturally look within. It is believed that there are 36,000 gods and goddesses in the body. If we continually eat bad foods, intoxicate ourselves, allow filth to accumulate anywhere outside or inside of our bodies, outside or inside of ourselves, then these gods abandon us in disgust. Yet, our concerns must ultimately go beyond these deities. In the temples of our bodies, to the universal one, after we clear away the obscuring layers of dirt, bodily problems, and delusions. We must be prepared even to clear away the gods themselves so that we can reach the inner one. 
Mm-hmm. Wow. I did not plan that. I just said I'm going to read page two. And the Tao Mm. I'm just tapping in deeper into myself. I'm acknowledging who I am. Thank you, Roxbury Tai Chi Academy, Master Heath Robinson, teaching me the meditation and movement. going through the 108 postures and the various transitions between those 108 postures and practicing the dance 20, 19 to 22 minutes doing those 108 postures and being consistent in the movement, allowing myself to sink deeper into who I am and acknowledging my first eye and having this liquid pineal gland, liquid which is never imbalanced versus calcified. Now, this particular DVD mm, I won't put it in. I'll just tell you Oprah did a good job in acting and she helped produce this. And Henrietta Lacks was primarily, you if you've heard of the Gila Cell, Henrietta Lacks, the Gila Cell is something that all biologist, I mean, her cells dealing with Henrietta Lacks or dealing with the HeLa cell verifies what I've been discussing, that the black woman is the source of all life on the planet. They are using the HeLa cell to help cure cancer and the HeLa cell can be used in black people and in white people. And with her cells or her genetic makeup, that verifies what I've been asserting about melanin dominance and melanin recession, all people on the planet originally came from a black woman. They can use this one black woman's cells in all black people and find cures for your eyes and cancer and other various ailments. There's something about being melanin dominant. But the power structure the power structure um, is opposed to melanin dominant people. We talked about Gila 
Let's go to Acres of Skin, another book in my library, where Human Experiments at Holmesburg Prison, a true story of abuse and exploitation in the name of medical science. Acres of Skin is a pain, is painful to read. only for its historical significance, but also for what it can still teach us about the conduct of medical research in the contemporary world. For Alan Hornblum, compelling account of what transpired within Holmesburg Prison is, sadly, only a chapter in the ongoing story. Jay Katz, Professor of Law, Medicine, Psychiatry, Yale Law School. Alan Hornblum's Acres of Skin does for Holmesburg what David Rothman's Willowbrook Wars did for Willowbrook and James H. Jones, Bad Blood, did for Tuskegee. Each shows how the authority of science has been used to affect officially sanctioned exploitation of the vulnerable. Exploitation of the vulnerable. Part of the tragedy is that we must wait decades for its public exposure. John Klinik, Klinig, Director of Institute for Criminal Justice Ethics at John Jay College Criminal Justice. Tuskegee Experiment allowed syphilis to fester in black men to see what the effects would be. And now the immortal life of Henrietta Lacks, they took her genes and experimented with her or with them. Who are we? All right, you just read the dial, the beginning. Go deeper into who I am as a melanin dominant thinking black man. Don't trust Western medicine or Western science. If Master Heed says, take some salt, some pepper, some apple cider vinegar, put it in a warm water glass, heat up the water, gargle with it, that will help my sore throat. I'm going to listen to Master Heed before going to the hospital or before dealing with Western medicine thinking. Last week, didn't I discuss the black family with the white child? And how is that white man looking up to his black mother gonna feel? So he's going to create what? The Anglo-American establishment? Yeah, I brought this particular book too. I'm just going to share. This is Without Sanctuary. This is who 
these individuals are that have mastered and created Western medicine. I mean, now with them taking Henrietta Lacks's cells or genes without her permission or consent and not dealing with the family and John Hopkins never gave restitution or anything to the family for using, I mean, isn't that the same thing as lynching? And look, are people just gathered there looking at a hanging individual? What kind of, oh, in here, let me deal with this particular issue too. Denial. Hmm. Yeah, I think I will play some of this. Just so I can shut up. And y'all can see what I take in. Observe and pay attention to the media. That's my role as a media professional. Interpret as a thinking black man. Interpret this information. What you doing in there with that woman? All right, I don't know what to deal with the previous. Richard and Mildred Loving did unlawfully have a deal with Mary Wiles. That's how, all right. Yeah, and even before I go to that, let me show you this real quick. For those that wish to know how to watch Brother R.A., go to CCTV and Did I say I wasn't high? <laughs> Am I doing things properly? Let's see if we can get this page to be where it needs to be. I'm not democracy now. You should be able to see. Let's see if we can get this page to reload. That's not gonna occur. Never mind. Let's just go to the show. studies at Emory University and the author of Denying the Holocaust, The Growing Assault on Truth and Memory, Deborah Lipstadt. Whatever the reasons that people become deniers, when you look closely, they often have an agenda which they won't admit to. So denial is a pick to undo the lock to open the door to something else. Yes. Somebody told me you don't debate with people who say the Holocaust didn't happen. Uh, that is correct, like I don't debate with people who say uh, Elvis is alive. <laughs> Talking to people you don't agree with, that's democracy, isn't it? It's cowardly not to talk to them. Are you calling me a coward? Well, no, no, listen, I, I don't see it that way. You can have opinions about the Holocaust, you can argue about why it happened and how it happened, but what I won't do is meet with anyone, anyone who says it didn't happen. Because the Holocaust happened. It happened. And that isn't opinion, that's fact. And I won't debate facts. In your book, why do you continually denigrate the work of David Irving? 
He's a scholar. He's discovered all sorts of primary sources no one else knew about. Well, to be honest, I, I don't think I do denigrate him. Actually, I, I don't really think about him that much. I, I don't think he's worth my time. Yeah. Yes, sir, a gentleman in the back. Professor Lipstadt, uh, let me reveal something to you, Professor. I am that David Irving about whom you have been so rude. Yes, yes, I am he. And it puzzles me that you think yourself qualified to attack me, given that I have 30 years' experience in the archives. And my books have been published by some of the greatest publishing houses in the world. Viking Press, William Morrow, E.P. Dutton. I have to conclude that the reason you don't engage with people you disagree with is because you can't. And you might learn some facts. Facts, Miss Nipstadt, which don't suit your opinions. Well, well. Mr. Irving, I will not debate you. Not here, not now, not ever. So if you would please. Today, I out, want you telling you lies to students. In another room and another you time. You want gullible students to believe that there are mounds of documents which prove a Holocaust. You even said that Hitler ordered it. Well, I've got a thousand dollars in my pocket. Yes, thousand dollars. And I'm willing to give that thousand dollars to anyone, anyone who can show me a document that proves that Hitler Mr. ordered Irving, the killing I'm of the Jews. You, please, Here it is. Down. This is thousand. not your Q and A. You can go I and speak somewhere else, but not so with me. Not here. 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 Not not only won't debate, it calls security to stop me from debating. Right, well, I'm going to need you to be it. If anybody wants, I should be signing my books after the event. My books, they're free. Come and get one. Thank you. Thousand! Thousand dollars! <laughs> down to real history. We have to identify real history opposed to manufactured history and sentimentalized. So, real history, huh? Real history. All of it is his damn story. Where is the melanin dominant story? Whether Auschwitz or Germany or, I mean, that was dealing with the Jews. But let me ask, who, who owns the media that you are watching? I mean, okay, so this is CCTV, Cambridge Community Television public access TV and here in the city of Cambridge I have the opportunity thank you Susan Fleshman and those that have dealt with upholding and supporting public access to such airwaves such programming even though I don't get Channel 9 on my intended television in my house. Um, so I guess you have to have cable or... Uh, I know I don't get this channel on my television at home. So I know I have to... After the show, tomorrow I will go to the library and upload today's show to Facebook so that you have the opportunity to hear my comments about what I share and what I think. And did I say I wasn't high? I'm sober today. I was high last week. And as you heard me read about the cleansing of the body and cleansing of my body gets me closer to the divine the divine infinity 
or the divinity, yes, infinity and divinity, all within me. I am a child of the sun, the S-U-N. I'm tapping into my liquid fluid pineal gland and maybe herb isn't all of that. <clears throat> it does help me go to the various aspects of my thinking brain, reaching all aspects of my mind, all 360 degrees of who I am as the one because the universe resides within me. Now, do I allow myself to tap into all of that or do I get swayed by the miseducation of Harvard, the miseducation of MIT, the miseducation this is another book in my library, Tony Martin, The Jewish Onslaught. I mean, the media, you saw me, I showed you without sanctuary, hanging of people, and you just saw that clip, Denial, The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. All under the Anglo-American establishment by Carol Quigley. I mean, am I, as a melanin dominant individual, 90% of the Earth's population is melanin dominant. Melanin dominant being black, brown, red, and yellow. Melanin dominant people are acres of skin? Are we for science experiments? Who teaches that you should prepare for conception? Here's a thought. If I were to find a woman and I think she's the appropriate caliber or the appropriate type of woman that I could see bearing my child. Would she have the mindset to prepare her body for conception? Do many melanin dominant black people cleanse their bodies for conception. As I read from the Tao, one, page one and page two, I can't even say that word. How do, how do I say this word? <laughs> Absolution. Washing at dawn. Rinse away dreams. Protect the gods within. Clarify the inner spirit. How many of us clarify our inner spirit? Acknowledging, hey, if I have a liquid pineal gland and liquid is always balanced, you never can tilt water. You have a glass of water, you, it's always balanced to the level of earth. If I have this liquid in my pineal gland, my first eye, my third eye, whatever you want to call it, I as a melanin dominant individual have that. But I am subjected to, oh my God, what? The NFL? What is that? The nigga football league? I look in the owner's booth. We got Kraft who bought how many brothers? They needed this skill and that skill. And oh my goodness, let me, I gotta show it. I just had it up here. Time, damn, I did talk all the way through that far already. 
Let's set this up. Let's move my ass to, um, let's go to my Facebook page real quick. Talking about who I am. All right, so Facebook, this is a potpourri show. I'm just going from here to there, sharing the thoughts. So, hmm, I need to get there before I can conceive a child. <laughs> What's it say? Is it going to come up? Be good to yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got to... <clears throat> I got to be good to myself. I'm not there yet. I'm going to get there. <laughs> I believe in me. Mind of a matter. So, uh, that's what I had. Um, I said, what did I say about this? Taking on vacation in Cancun, San Juan, Aruba, Jamaica, or one of them islands. This was September 2011. Yes, it's time to lose winter weight and get back down to speedo weight. I was there. Uh, I'm now 55 and a half years old. I need to get back to that. Okay, yeah, that's that. Okay, that's from last week's show. Oh, okay. Um, and dealing with that, let's see if I can jump into Biogen, Amgen, here. Let's deal with the profit margins of the top 10 leading biotech companies. We're looking at GIL, Gilead, what is that? 154.3 billion. Amgen, 119 billion. 91.9 billion. Biogen, 82 billion. So, I talk about black parents have a white child, but then that white child has a high level of insecurity. Now we have white men in the position of power, and we're still dealing with, and would I just say, dealing with the immortal life of Henrietta Lacks, all these biotech companies. I'm just throwing information out there. You can make your own assessments. And Sean just came in here and told me he and I went to go, uh, we saw Get Out. And here, let me show you the... Uh, the trailer from Get Out. You got your toothbrush? Check. Do you have your deodorant? Check. Do you have your cozy clothes? Got that. What? Do they know I'm black? Should they? You might wanna, you know. Mom and Dad, my black boyfriend will be coming up this weekend. I just don't want you to be shocked that he's a black man. <laughs> I ain't never seen you like this before, bruh. Meet family and taking road trips. Don't come back all bougie, man. Come back, get your damn pants up to your damn stomach. <laughs> so, you guys coming up from the city? Yeah, we're just heading up for the weekend. Can I see your license, please? He wasn't driving. I didn't ask who was driving. I asked to see his ID. Call me Dean in a hurry, my man. So how long has this been going on, Miss... <laughs> we hired Georgina and Walter to help care for my parents. When they died, I couldn't bear to let them go. Do you smoke in front of my daughter? I'm gonna quit. She can take care of that for you. How? Hypnosis. 
I'm good, actually. Are you ready for this? I'm back in B. So look, I go do my research. Apparently, a whole bunch of brothers been missing in this suburb. But it's cool. Bro, how are you not scared of this, man? Didn't see no brother around here. Chris was just telling me how he felt much more comfortable with my being here. Get out. Sorry, man. Okay. Get out! Yo! <laughs> Bros, we gotta go. Is everything okay? Bros, the keys. Just get the keys. I don't know where they are. Bros! Sink into the floor. Wait, 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 wait. Sink. <laughs> Thing to waste. Thing to waste. Too many He's on auction, selling black people again. No. No. Should I let get in? I, I'll, I'll let this go. Shut my mouth. Do you have your toothbrush? Check. Do you have your retainer? Check. Do you have your reading glasses? Got it. What's wrong? Do they know I'm white? Should they? Well, I mean, it's something they should probably know yes. about. Hey, mom and dad, my cracker ass boyfriend's coming for the weekend. I just didn't want you to be surprised that he's a white man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, just make it casual. Just go on Instagram like you're posting a photo, but make sure you geotag it. That way we know where you are. License and registration. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't see you there, sir. My apologies. Please, move along. Have a great day. Thank you. Do you know him? So, my man, uh, how long has this, uh, thing been going on? Do you smoke in front of my daughter? Oh, no, I would never. Quit acting like a little bitch and hit this! <coughs> Sink into the floor. What? Sink into the floor. What do you mean? Alert. Good. Howdy, partner. Yo, dog. When there's too many black people, I get nervous. <laughs> Spitting those beats. Well, good, well, good, well, good. Yeah. Nice. So your rap album is doing well. Yeah, my third OP, baby. I have a perfect credit score. I have a perfect credit score. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? What? Do you like basketball? No, not really my sport. You watch World Star? What's that? I heard South Central's the new Westwood. It'll be fun. All right, let's escape from that. Enough of that. And. So I, as Brother R.A., immediate professional, am dealing with who we are and how we are psychologically hypnotized or manipulated by the media 
and who owns the media and what is the objective and what do we value. Let's go back to the beginning. If the world was originally all a black planet, when the Earth's axis was straight up and down, there was no North Pole, there was no South Pole, only tropical environments. Mother, Mother Nature is making a statement for herself now. Think that's a black woman with an attitude talking about Florida and, uh, hmm, what's going on? The Bible, in the beginning, hmm, the Tao, beginning, who are you? And why were you born? What's your purpose? Why do you exist? So, back to the Anglo-American establishment by Carol Quigley. Just using that title alone. Anglo-American establishment. And you saw the clip from Denial. And I told you a little bit about Oprah and the Gila cell. And what do you value? What's your purpose for existing? It's time for me to have a new beginning. Time for me to think about, hmm... What would it be like if I were to enter into a relationship having that kind of new beginning? What kind of parent would I be? Understanding you saw get out and get in and understanding that black folks, as far as I'm concerned, are science projects and most of us are media manipulated by Jewish-owned media corporations and businesses. Not only the media manipulation, but then I showed you the numbers for the biotech companies. So we have the melanin recessive inbred mutant albino with the calcified pineal gland operating a value structure, a value system where black folks don't appreciate themselves. We don't have enough self-esteem and self-confidence. What kind of father would I be to raise a child or have a partner and a mate and share with the children? Oh, let me read this real quick. I got three minutes left from my Facebook page. And someone asked a question. It says, uh, Facebook. He asked, what's your beef with all white people? And my reply to him, my beef is not with white people. My beef is with the power structure and the miseducation of the masses. In America, Triple K America, we value what the white minority corporations have taught us to value. Like dead slaveholders on paper and the media upholding white supremacy and not teaching melanin dominance or black genetic greatness. Everybody black copulated with all whites, we would have an all black planet again. This is the fear of the white power structure. Hence, 
all the genetic engineering companies, corporation, Amgen 127 billion, Biogen 68 billion, Shire 57 billion. My focus is on the media manipulation of brainwashing or hypnosis, if you will. Where is the where is black self-esteem and belief in self? Oh, that's right. Believe in a melanin recessive inbred mutant albino Jewish Hebrew Jesus, an energy outside of self. Impact media. Hmm. So the impact of the media has affected us. But in this new academic year, will they discuss acres of skin? Human experiments at Holmesburg Prison? Will they discuss black self-esteem dealing with, I mean, thank you, Oprah, for putting yourself in this movie. Hmm. I guess I did enough. Is she here already? Let me go ahead and make sure I log out of everything. Thank you for tuning in to Brother Ari. That was a quick 57 minutes. Me with a sore throat. And I still got out my points and messages. Let me just shut up my stuff. Take out my DVD denial. And um, all I can say to you is think, people. It's not illegal yet. And I hope I shared enough knowledge to cause you to go deeper.